just love key again. So this is where I'm coming from when I say my perspective. Watch your enemies and how much you give them. Well, from a biblical perspective, there was 10 virgins in the Bible. And we all know the story of Jesus, right? Jesus says, love your enemies. Well, that is correct. But we have to think of the illustration with the 10 virgins. They all had so much lamp oil, right? And one of them gave all of hers away. Well, we have resources, don't we? Like personal resources. And we have to protect those because not all the time do we have things available to us. So we wouldn't want to just go give it all away. Instead, we would want to divvy portions out where, you know, say 10% or 1% or 15%, like 15 medical bills, well, 10%, you know, donations, church, uh, stuff like that. But we would want to keep a majority of our own resources and assets for us, right? Um, so the thing is, it's not wrong necessarily to love your enemies if you can get yourself to do it. I, on the other hand, have to go in like with bullhorns and try with myself because that's how much of a people person I've been and how much I've gotten hurt. But, you know, what I said isn't completely entirely correct about, you know, not loving your enemies. But the thing is, if these people are taking advantage of your resources, you have to watch your resources because they'll run off with it, laugh at you, and then you'll be under them and privy to their control. And that's what I've learned from my own situations. So sometimes when we're being Christian, people are taking advantage of our kindness. Now that will be answered in the kingdom of God. I am a benefactor of the kingdom and I will show that. Um, but I genuinely and deeply care for people's well-being for where they end up after they're on earth. And you know what? A lot of people get confined to their homes after they pass away, and that's all the further they go. And it's a sad thing to know that it actually says this in the Bible, but nobody observes it. <laughs> so that's the thing, you know. Um, we all talk about haunting each other and all this fun stuff when we die, you know. 